Since the beginning of the pandemic, scientists in the Broad Institute's Viral Genomics Group have been sequencing the viral genome from COVID-19 positive patients. They have been studying the virus's genetic sequences to investigate outbreaks and learn how the virus spreads. Viral genomic sequencing is a really powerful tool to be able to detect the genetic code of the virus and so how it's changing and how it's adapting to its environment and um, that's particularly relevant right now with all of these variants circulating. Now, the Broad is launching a new surveillance effort to track viral variants. We're receiving samples from hospitals and other clinical partners and diagnostic partners from around um, the state and uh, the Northeast region. Our first step is to inactivate them and then extract the RNA, which is the genetic code from the virus. We then transform that RNA into DNA. Um, which is what is actually put on the sequencer. We have to sort of chop up the DNA and read it out in short pieces, and then we kind of computationally stitch it back together and assemble the complete genome sequence. In partnership with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Viral Genomics Group and the Broad's Genomics Platform are working together to scale up genetic sequencing of the virus. The goal of this surveillance effort is to sequence 5,000 viral genomes per week to monitor how the virus is evolving. Early on when we were working, it was really looking at how the virus arrived into Massachusetts. Because you've got the sequence of the virus, which mutates over time, you can kind of track how it's spreading between people and between groups and regions. And now one of the other utilities we're seeing with viral genomics now is looking at these emerging variants of concern. So actually looking at the specific mutations that the virus might be acquiring and obviously then kind of passing that information on to other people who are able to functionally characterize these mutations and say whether or not we think they're a reason for concern. Part of it is just the power to detect um, somewhat rare events quickly. When you are actually sequencing that much, that frequently, you can get a set of samples in, turn around data, interpret it within about a week, which is actually a lot faster than we did early in the, in the pandemic. To scale up viral sequencing, the genomics platform combined the power of its high-throughput sequencing technology with its COVID-19 diagnostic lab. Now that we've stood up a, a very, very high-scale diagnostics lab, we have two things. We have the actual positive samples coming through our diagnostics lab, and we're able to, we're able to grab those, collect those, and then actually quickly pivot them into our sequencing side and actually get a very like real-time sequence of the positives that are coming through. Researchers developed an automated method to select a small number of positive samples and prepare them for sequencing. In addition, members of the data sciences platform created bioinformatics tools to store, analyze, and share viral sequence data. We started a lot of these efforts hand in hand. Um, everything that we had done really kind of flowed through all three groups. What's changed in the past couple months is uh, doubling down on, on scaling that up to kind of a whole new order of magnitude, really. Automation is key to everything that we do. I mean, not only in terms of like throughput, but consistency and performance. The automation team is super experienced and they know how to take these things on and turn them around very quickly. More genetic data on the virus will help public health officials better understand how the virus is changing which will help them decide the best ways to slow its spread.